So here we go then. The WBA regular bantamweight championship of the world on the line. However, much like McDonald, Payano was not even given the chance to test his medal and met with a picture-perfect one-two showstopper in just 70 seconds. Inoue had done it again. The majority decision. Go again. Second try. <laughs> Guys, please give me a like on this video. Yo, I just... I literally just sat here and did like a whole 20 minute reaction to this video here and it crashed at the last minute and I can't even like it was the best like this video is fire if you guys do get a chance watch it if you haven't this is amazing it actually highlights in in uh, Inoue's I still can't say his name right it, it really highlights his um all of his highlights so if you do get a chance watch it I don't want to go ahead and redo this whole video again because it's not going to be like a genuine reaction. So unfortunately, the file crashed and I can't upload it. So we're just going to react to some of his um, best knockouts. You know what I mean? I'm super disappointed, but I'm still going to go ahead and do another video for you guys. Instead, we are reacting to opponents before and after fighting Nayoa Inoue. So here we go. First person I already see is Regan Dao. I don't think they fought. Hey, before up. I was fighting guys bigger than me. Now I'm in my weight. Let's go monster hunting, he said. How can a guy so little, like, get so much torque, like, on his punches? Fight fans, yeah. welcome back. So, from, so far from what I've studied about him, he has tremendous speed, good footwork, and a lot of power behind his hits. Most of his fights ending in knockouts. He's got a super clean record, 20-0. and 0, No, 22-0, and 0, I believe. Um, but he hasn't lost anything yet. And um, our boy, Rigondeaux, I mean, not Rigondeaux, um, John Casimiro basically wants to go up against him. And um, let me show you guys his response when he was asked to fight. Fans that are hoping that that fight would be next. Yo, uh, my plan is... Uh... So basically, this is what Casimiro had to say when he was asked about who he wants to fight next after the Rigondeaux fight. My promoter is this one. Three opponent first, Rigondeaux. He's done with that. Second, Donaire. And then he and got, you know. Now yeah, know it. So, <laughs> as you can see, he wants to fight him and every, he wants to, I mean, everybody, like, I want to see it more than anybody. I don't know. I'm pretty sure all you guys want to see it. Same thing too, but um, yeah, I think it'll be a super interesting fight uh, and definitely be like a legendary fight for sure. Both of their, um, both of them are super great fighters. Apparently, his nickname is the Monster, so I'm assuming he's a monster. We're gonna see that here. Since becoming flyweight world champion over six years ago, Naoya Inoue has wreaked havoc throughout boxing's lower weight classes. With the kind of poise, power, and precision that only comes once in a while. After passing his acid test against one Filipino opponent last December, <clears throat> we had hoped to see him increase his status and his fear factor by taking out another this summer. Dude, I'm a real monster. There you go. However, All right. with the Casimero fight now looking to be off the cards, a stacked division and an ever-growing list of potential opponents awaits. He's going to take on hell of a fighter to stop this guy. And so here, in anticipation, we take a look at before and after the monster's most recent victims. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. I'm excited. Paramagana, Japan, the WBC, light flyweight champion of the world. After five years and 13 Inoue. professional fights in his Inoue. homeland, Inoue's success and growing profile Open the gateways to his long-awaited U.S. debut. Just HBO and U.S. debut of Naoya Inoue. There are a lot of folks who think that he may Inoue. be the next big thing in boxing. For those fans who don't know you, who don't know what to expect, how would you describe yourself as a fighter? What doesn't I do to boxing? I have a style where I don't let the opponent throw punches, and from there, I try to knock the guy out. An opportunity where, in a confident and self-assured manner, pressure. It was the 17-in-one prospect 
that stepped up to the plate. You know, obviously he's a two-time world champion um, for a reason. Uh, he's a solid fighter. But, you know, we see things that uh, we're going to be able to take advantage to, to take him all away from his game, and uh, it's going to lead us to the victory. A man with every belief Seems, he could ruin uh, the party. To me, like another of his victims. We're gonna see if the power is devastating, like everybody says on Saturday, and um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna work to the to the victory, and uh, and uh, we're gonna put the hype down for everybody. Despite being a 33 to one underdog going into the fight, the American. <laughs> I like the subtle look on his face. Look at Inoue over here. Uh, and uh, we're gonna put the hype down. For He's like, today is the day you go down, my friend. For everybody. Despite being a 33 to one <laughs> underdog going into the fight. The American fought his heart out, though slowly being dragged further out of his depth, the middle rounds turned into an offensive onslaught. As it looks like Nieves is trying to find somewhere to hide in the ring, and he can't find it as Inway continues to track him down. So much so that by the end of round six, it was all over. Trainer Joseph Delguide has a decision. He said no more. And he has made the decision. No, no mas. He pulled a chinko, a loma, loma, a loma on him, a nomas chinko on him. To stop this guy. Does he have an X Factor? He's got several X Factors as far as I'm concerned. And with his 12th hey, no knockdown way. in 14, the monster's U.S. introduction was just as devastating as predicted. We were told to expect something special. That was quite a show. With six WBO title defenses, the boxing world was becoming more and more aware of Inoue's talent. What, you didn't know who he was? I didn't. I still don't even know. His, I can't pronounce his first name. I just call him Inoue, yeah. Unfortunately, it seemed the Japanese star's next opponent, Jamie McDonnell, was not quite sure what he was letting himself in for. So I got a bit of buzzing and I literally turned around to say to our kid and our kid went, he's good in though, buff. And I said, is he? He said, yeah. He said, but he ain't like, no, you haven't seen before. He said, so don't worry. So I'm like, yeah, fair enough. So we had a session, great van on way home, and I just Googled him on YouTube and thought, yeah, he's tasty, but I can beat him. On a 10 year unbeaten streak, the Brit and his team entered with the belief they could not only tame the monster, but take him out. And on the inside, he thinks he's strong, he can fight on the inside. So we would like to stop him. However, the boldness was short lived. And whether he was caught cold or simply overwhelmed, his dream of forcing an upset evaporated in less than two minutes. Grounded at the moment, heavy left hand seemed to catch McDonald high on the head, almost on the top of the head there, and his legs seem a little bit shaky here. Minute and a half into the first round, and McDonald goes over from the left hand to the body, looking to tee up with that right hand, left hand, and McDonald sacks into the ropes again, and Luis Pabon, the referee, has jumped Yeah, I see, I see, I see what he meant. Like, he doesn't give you a chance. He's just steadily on you, giving you pressure. Especially when you're at your weak point. Jamie McDonald has been blown away by no But I gotta say though, the he's combos, he he's got really, there, really good just, combos. Oh, stood stood off and just both upstairs and downstairs he's just going going in. He didn't, it went out. It went out on his shield. He, he, he put his balls on line and he tried to win. In similar fashion, there was no post fight output from the Brit. Though during a later interview with Sky Sports, he referred to Inoue's power as being as real as it comes. Hello and a very warm welcome to Yokohama. Will you join us for the opening night of Season 2 action in the World Boxing Super Series? With his progression from the big stage onto the even bigger stage, the Japanese fighter thrived in the limelight. And at the end of 2018, opening the Super Series, this time it would be Carlos Payano's turn to face boxing's most dangerous man. Inoue's in a lot of trouble. He can have his grandmother as a referee, his grandfather, uncle, and brother as the judges, and he can swap with a cousin in between rounds if he wants to fight. He's still not going to beat Payan. Known as El Jefe, oh, okay. the hard-hitting Dominican fighter was humble in his approach, but unfazed by his underdog status, telling the media and his rival, you gotta kill me to beat me. La idea que tiene que tener es que eh, cogió uno de los de los más fuertes. Eso estoy seguro. Ma la fuerza más y técnico más. He's always been the opponent. And in many of the scenarios, he's been the opponent. He knocks out whoever he. I gotta say, like, I like the way boxing brings people together. Even though it's like, you know, they're fighting. But still, you have freaking, like, 
the best fighters from different countries and they could still come together and you know like you know represent their own countries it's nice i like it it's very very nice where he's fighting it's gonna be no different they don't even have to speak the same language so here we go then the wba regular bantamweight championship of the world on the line however much like McDonald, Payano was not even given the chance to test his medal, and met with a picture-perfect one-two showstopper in just 70 seconds. Inoue had done it again. Majority decision. Another first-round stoppage and a split-second verification that the monster's power had followed him up Whoa. the bantamweight. Oh, here we go then. The WBA regular bantamweight championship of the world on the line. However, much like McDonald, Payano was not even given the chance to test his medal and met with a picture-perfect one-two showstopper in just 70 seconds. Inoue had done it again. Majority decision. <laughs> Literally, my guy said, don't blink. A devastating statement of intent. A first round knockout. Another first round stoppage and a split second verification. He he got a whole team trying to get him up. Another first round stoppage and a split second verification that the monster's power had followed him up to bantamweight. It was a great night, great fight. Um, I thought, it, I think Anui is probably the best fighter I've ever seen live. Like, no, sorry, absolutely unbelievable. Um, After snatching a split decision against Jason Maloney, a man who has now come into consideration as Inoue's next opponent for the second half of 2020, it was Emmanuel Rodriguez who edged into the semifinals. We have the champion, Manny Rodriguez, the challenger, the monster, Noya Inoue. In the run-up to this one, neither man gave much away, though Rodriguez, a talented and well-schooled Puerto Rican, looks set to give Inoue his toughest test to date, vowing to shut a lot of people's mouths in the build-up. 15 rounds, we're in good condition, we know he is too, so what I'm going to say, I'll tell you, my other video is going to continue the IBF champion of the world. It's victorious on Saturday, it's either for knockout position, you know, if we don't have it, we can't do 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 it. A good, clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Touch gloves, keep it clean. And competitive in the first round, he looked to be doing exactly that. Rodriguez certainly not overawed by the occasion, by the opponent, by the reputation of Inoue. Though, as Inoue stepped up a gear in the second, Rodriguez was drawn into a slugfest. I gave it to, to Inoue closely. A slugfest, which had only one winner. Rodriguez. Oh, good Straight shot. left hand there, just dumps Rodriguez down. He did it again. It was short, it was sharp. Body. Yo, this guy really is a monster. That's crazy. Made no excuses. Just did a two-shot combo right there. And gave full Dropped credit to the clean. Japanese star, who now had his eyes set firmly on the Muhammad Ali Trophy. Be here for some odd reason. I've always felt that I was going to be here. He felt that I was going to be here. And, and now it's happening, and this is what boxing is all about, the best of the best. Naoya Inoue takes on future Hall of Famer, Nonito Daenerys, sellout crowd of over 20,000 in the Super Arena. At some stage of every great fighter's career, there comes an acid test. And without question, the Super Series Grand Finale, featuring the four-weight super champion in Nonito Donaire, was Inoue's time to shine. It's gonna be, you know, a question whether Inoue is able to, as he said at the press conference, climb that wall. You know, Donaire, interestingly, compared himself to building the wall. Also labeled in marvelous fashion as the Flash versus the Monster, fans were always going to be in for a treat. The end of the day, he's not really, I mean, if you guys believe in monsters, then good for you, but he's not really a monster, let's face it. To make the buildup even better, Donaire reminded fans exactly why he shouldn't be overlooked claiming that the sport's toughest challenge 
would bring out the very best of him. The thing about it is I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly who I am and I know exactly what I, I am inside that ring. So it doesn't matter what uh, people or what odds there are. Experience versus youth and size versus speed, the 2019 fight of the year, even for Inoue, will be a tough one to top. No wonder that we've seen so many knockouts, 16 KOs. A good left foot seems to stagger the there. His reputation as a puncher is, as it is, uppercut, left hook. This is the home crowd now, really get behind him. And a lovely left to the body. Lovely shot. Another body takedown? Yo, okay, okay. It was the first time he'd heard the final bell in four years. But with the ultimate test of his chin, his heart, and his composure, the monster had passed with flying colors. Yeah, this guy is definitely a problem. I, I felt that at any moment. Um, I don't think um, I could take his punches, him going you know, up against um, Casemiro is going to be an easy you know, fight I think at the most dangerous all. For, for me sure, it's going to be super shot. challenging. <laughs> that, that one hurt. That one hurt a lot. Where, for some, Donaire's brave and youthful performance still leaves some questions unanswered. Maybe that's the beauty of it. As an array of exceptional fighters, both at bantamweight and beyond, provide more and more challenges for boxing's latest and greatest. He's, He's very the good. Monster. He's a very good fighter, and it would take him one day, of course. Likewise, the majority of his opponents have had little to say in the aftermath of facing Inoue, which may speak volumes in itself. As instead, we are left with the visual distress and those telltale signs, reactions that send out an equally if not more unnerving message to the future opponents that lay in wait. Hey, this guy, I like his style a lot. It's clean, very good. It's like, you're looking at him, he's very small, honestly. I think he was like 5'5". Five, five. Um, I don't know how much he weighs, but he, he's not that, he's not super big, right? But with the power that you see him striking with, the way he's able to take down his opponents, you know he's freaking crazy. He's astonishing. I don't know. I I, I know for one thing for sure. When it comes to him fighting Casemiro, it's gonna be super hyped, and also it's gonna be a big challenge. I don't think it's gonna be an easy match at all. Both of them are very skilled fighters, and I don't know. I kind of feel like their fighting style is somewhat similar. To an extent, um, Casimir goes a lot for body hits and strength. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I, it's just something we have to watch and see. I like both of their styles a lot. And I think both of them have a fairly equal chance of defeating the other. Um, but yeah, bro, Inoue, I think the, his nickname really does fit him. He really truly is a monster, I think. I'm eager to see that fight come when it does happen. You know for sure I'm watching. I'm definitely going to watch it. And yeah, it'll be super, super interesting. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and try to recover the other video because I really, really liked it. If I can, I'll definitely post it. If not, it's just something I have to scrap. But um, if you did like this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment on the video or, you know, just sub to the channel if you want to keep seeing more content like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have the re great rest of your day. And without further ado, be easy, be breezy, and peace out.